name is Jamie Oxenbold and I am currently, well, about to start a uh, production of The Spear Carrier, a play which I wrote and which Mark Kilmurray has directed, uh, assistant directed by Anna Crawford. Hi, uh, my name is Mark Kilmurray. I'm director of The Spear Carrier, uh, Jamie Oxenbold's hilarious uh, solo show that was um, postponed from last year and is now finally here. It's a joy to work on. Um, it's been a joy in rehearsal. Um, we laughed a lot. I say, um, do this, and Jamie says, no, I won't. He does something else, and that's basically the relationship. Seventeen, my liege. Oh, pretty. Thank you, sir. A most excellent riposte. Though oft be times I want one in a jiffy, the theatre's not the place to get a stiffy. <laughs> It's a one-man show about a spear carrier, funnily enough. Um, a man who has got a very small part in a production of Hamlet, a long-running, long-touring production of Hamlet. It's their 118th show. So he's bored to death and he's got nothing to do but stand up the back and think about the audience, uh, the other actors on stage, the girl who he's obsessed with, which is the actress playing Ophelia, and his sort of flights of fantasy that he goes on when he thinks about what he would do if he was Hamlet or if he was Rosencrantz or if he was playing the king. He's a wonderful actor. He, he plays lots of different roles. It's a fun piece of um, theatre. It comments on Hamlet, on loneliness, on being a spear carrier. Um, and it, it's got lots to say about those things. But mostly, most of all, it's very, very funny. <laughs> Well, what happens on tour stays on tour. <clears throat> Except STDs, they come home with you. Nathan Turner, the unpredictable bad boy of theatre. Move over, Russell Crowe. Step aside, Barry Crocker. There's a new rebel in town. <laughs> it's a comedy um, about one man's um, dream uh, of wanting to play a bigger part, but not quite getting there. It's only a short season. It's not part of the um, main uh, subscription season because it was postponed from last year. Um, so you have to uh, buy a ticket in another sneaky way. But if you do buy a ticket, you won't be disappointed because it's just a joy. And it's only a short season, so, you know, get to those phones quickly, I'd say. Anyway, come along. <laughs>